What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheree and thanks for tuning in. So today's video is going to be all about basically like just a self-care, self-love day. I'm about to head to get my nails done and I really don't know what else I'm going to do for myself or like what this video is going to hold. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, my nails right now are just a oval French tip and they don't look bad but they're just grown out and like this nail chipped like the paint. So I'm about to head out. You guys want to say hi to Paris? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> That's my best friend if y'all didn't know. So let me show you guys my outfit. I'm gonna, I wanna take my tripod outside and take some pictures. Um, but it's just like a full nude outfit. So this top and these leggings are from Zara. This jacket is, I believe Forever 21. It's just like a um, cropped puffer jacket. And then my shoes are just the Yeezy. I think they, they're called the Farm Runners. I don't even know girl, but yeah so that's the fit so let's head out and get these nails done i think i hate them i think i hate them i think i hate them we'll try again another time that's cool it's fine no biggie but yeah i don't like them at all maybe i'm mean, being picky but like they just were not getting what I needed to give. Okay, y'all. So, it has literally been, I think, like, almost a whole month since I have gotten my nails done. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm finally going. I was been supposed to go, like, weeks ago. Like, a week ago. And every time I was going to go, I would just throw on anything, right? And just go. But it's like, no. I feel like putting myself together and going to get my nails done just, like, makes the whole vibe just so much better. Like, I was going to go yesterday, and I put sweats on. And, girl, I didn't go. Because it's like, when people say you look good, you feel good, it's not cap at all. I'm telling you, if you're not, if you're procrastinating, going to the gym, going to get your nose done, going to anywhere, put yourself together and go. It, and you're going to go. Like, you're going to feel good while you're there. You get it? So, it's like, it's a vibe. So excited. Yeah, this is their new location and it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, this one? This one. Okay, y'all, so we're out the nail salon and this is how they are looking. I love them. It's like almond shape with like gold tips and little teardrops. I hope y'all can see. And then on my toes, I just got white. Can y'all see? Yeah, I just got white on my toes because why not? So, currently, we are at Marshall's, not TJ Maxx, we're at Marshall's because I really need some new, um, I need some new dish towels for my kitchen, but y'all know the deal with me. I'm going to go in here, I say that's it, and I'm going to get something else, but, you know, we're treating ourselves today. We're gonna have a grand old time, and I'm excited. I feel cute, I look cute, and I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. I don't think I'm gonna go out. Yeah, I don't, I, that's not fun to me anymore. Like, I might, but mm, doubt it. I just really love my nails. Like, can you, this is better lighting. Can y'all see? Oval, gold chrome with like the little gel teardrops. Uh, get into it he did black polish i think he should have did white because i feel like you can kind of see the black a little bit but it's okay whatever so yeah let's go into marshall's <laughs> Workout jacket, I'm about to try it on. Let's see. Ooh. Hold on. I think I like it. Let's see. Cute. Let's give it like Lululemon dupe. The material is so nice. And it's like very tight. Yeah, this is 
This is cute. Nike sports bras and Marshalls. They might be glad I already have this color. What? $14? Hold on. This pink one will have to get cut. I got, I was messed up y'all way, way, way too freaking long. I only got two bags worth of stuff. And guess how much I spent? $170. How do I do it? I mean, I know how I do it because it's like, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. Actually, I need some of this too. And then, boom. They got me every time. But it's okay. We got some cute stuff. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. But I'm starving, so I'm trying to decide if I want to get something out or go home and eat. Decisions. Oh. just to show you guys what I got so usually I like go to Marshall's and it's like some stuff that I always get but this time I just kind of got stuff that I needed needed <laughs> this is just a beauty bag um, I think it's like a makeup container but I really just needed a new makeup bag a new container when I travel and I love this because it's clear and black which is really good just for matching everything and then when you open it it has one shiny black black container another small bag and then it has another small bag so you essentially get four in one and this was $16.99 so i really really like this next i got these two candles these are by the brand well one's by sensational and one sensational and one's by dw home if you don't know dw home is like my favorite candle brand from tj maxx and marshall's and this is in the scent spa day so i want to wait to light this when i do like a spa day at home for myself here soon it's about that time looks like this oh my gosh look at the nails yeah it smells so like just relaxing and fresh and clean so love this and then this one is in the scent um it's called sunshine it looks like this and if I don't know why, but I just love white based candles with like either gray writing or black writing. Um, you can put it all throughout your house and it look, just looks aesthetic. It looks good wherever you put it because it's white. So this one smells really good too. More of like the fruity, floral -y scent. I just got this microfiber drying mat. This is by Studio Kitchen and this was $6.99. It's just a big 
gray drying mat because I have a black one, but it just has like little like spots and stuff on it. So I don't, it needs to be thrown away. So I got a new one of these. I got some new dish towels because I needed some. These were $6.99 and they're just white and gray. They look like this. Just for like decoration, I think I'm gonna like just leave these on my oven and then have like actual dish rags that I wipe my hands with because when I'm cooking, I always grab for my dish towel and they get so dirty. So I want to use these and like not touch these and just have them for decor over there on my, on my oven. I got these two, um, I don't know if you would call them like yoga or running jackets. I got a white one and I got a black one. I love the fit of this white one more. I'm gonna show you guys. I show you guys a little bit in the store, but I'm gonna like really um, try it on for you. Here we go. It's so cute. This is by the brand Yogalicious Lux, and it's in the size small. And this is, um, it was $19.99. And y'all, it feels like butter going on. It has the two little holes right here. And it's just so cute. It's so This is what it looks like all the way on. It comes to right here. I love the length of it. I love how it's like literally snatching me in. And it has pockets. Um, they don't zip or anything. But I just love the fit of this. It's just so nice. And I've been wanting, and it just, see how it just like, looks like it's just like, hour, making you like have an hourglass shape. Yeah, so I love this one. I'm gonna try the black one on for y'all. It's in the size small, and it's by the brand RBX. I'm not sure if it's RBX or RBK, and this was $19.99 as well. It has the, um, the thumb holes, but it has a hood, and it has, um, little strings right here. I like this one too, but as you guys can tell the difference of like that white one, it just like, it just really snatches you. This one's cute too, but not as cute as the white one. So it has pockets as well. And so, yeah, I love this one too. I just got a red robe for Valentine's Day. I don't have a red robe, I have a pink robe, but I needed a red one. So this, it just looks like this, it's like a satin material. It has a red heart on the back. And then it also came with a like little slip that goes up under it looks like this it's like a little you know nightgown night dress thing but if y'all know me y'all know i love me some robes so and i love how it's like that shiny satin material and so yeah i just got this for valentine's day just to like get in the vibe and be festive and so next i got this this is a produce crisper and basically you can put like your fruits or vegetables in it and it's just supposed to keep them fresh and i'm the worst at buying strawberries and eating them in enough time where they don't get mold in them so i'm hoping that this will help and next i just got a silicone utensil set this was 9.99 and it just has five like two spatulas um two spoons and like one for like spaghetti i guess and pasta and i just love like the grays and the silver so yeah, I got these, I think it's really cute. I got these measuring spoons and cups just because I needed like another one that was like all the same. I had like some old ones from college. So this one is just gray. It's like the dark and light gray as well. Is this the same brand because of colorways? Oh, it is, how cute. So yeah, this is the same brand, the CWC, Cook With Color. And it's like the same gold, I mean gold, the same silver theme. So I just needed some like matching measuring cups and stuff. I got some gray um, oven mitts. My other ones got dirty. And like, Sheree, you could wash them. But I don't, I don't know. I feel like I thought I washed them and now I can't find them. So I just needed some new ones. So looks like this, simple. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sure y'all seen it in a previous video of me doing my hair. And that is why this wash and go came out so cute. But I got, an, I found another almond and avocado. This is the Honey Curl Forming Custard. I absolutely love this stuff. This is probably one of my favorite all-time stylers for my hair it holds my curls so beautifully it doesn't leave them like crunchy or anything it makes them so shiny and it has so much slip i love a product that has slip when i'm styling my hair because if not i just feel like my hair just it don't come out as good so i absolutely love this one of my all-time favorite hair products ever i got some pumice stones just for in between my pedicures just to keep them really soft and keep the dead skin off so I picked up these, definitely gonna use these in my next spa day at home. I got this exfoliating stretch washcloth. I, I get these all the time. I'll either get some from Target or I'll get these ones, but it just has like the two little things where you can like hang it on something. And it's just very like, it's, it feels so nice. It has your skin really nice. And it's like a gentle exfoliator. And it's many, this one's made with organic cotton or so it says. I'm just so sketchy about everything. Like, is it really organic cotton in here? Probably not. Probably like this much, but that's besides the point. So yeah, I got this. And y'all, oh my gosh. 
Okay, if you're on Instagram, if you're on TikTok, you have seen all the girlies with the little, um, like when they're washing their face or doing whatever, they put the little wristbands around their wrist because, you know, when you're washing your face, arm, I mean, water be dripping down. And I don't like that either, but I just kind of like get over it. Y'all, they have them. I, I, everybody orders them off Amazon, but like, I'm a if I see in person type of girl, that's what I want it. I don't want it now. I don't like, I like ordering stuff, but I'm really impatient when it comes to shipping and stuff. So this is by the brand Bella Beauty. This is the clean set and it comes with a headband and wristbands. Looks like this. Oh my gosh, let's open it. I'm so excited. It's pink. They're pink. It has a bow. This is like a headband just to like keep your hair out, your, out of your face. And then here is the wristbands. Y'all, you would not think I'd be this excited about some daggone wristbands, but I am. Cause like you're washing your face and the water just like gets caught right here. I'm gonna be really mad if I use this and the water seeps through. I'm gonna be real mad. But I like these a lot. Tonight is Saturday night. I really don't have anything planned to be honest. Um, I'm probably just gonna sit in my house and chill. Okay y'all, so I know y'all saw this package back here. And this is just another like utility cart, shopping cart. Um, this one is from Wayf not Wayfair, it's just from Amazon. So I had the, uh, the original one I had is from Walmart and it's only $30, I believe. But I didn't like assemble it the right way, I guess, or whatever. The wheel just came off. So I got this more sturdy one from Amazon and I'm about to open it up. I need, I have a case of water in my car and it's going to sit there until I build this because I'm not using it. Not and it literally just pops on how okay i'm liking this so far because i literally just pop it on that easy it spins around got like that Y'all, it's so big. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see? Hold on. Oh, look at it. It is so big. It's like a whole thing right here and then a whole nother little part back here. Wow. How cute. This is definitely big enough for like any water cases or anything. Ah, I love it. Wow. Great. So yeah, that is my little DIY for the night. <laughs> and yeah. So I'm about to take this makeup off. Probably turn on Netflix or something. Watch a show. Maybe I should read a book instead of watch a TV. I'm tired though, but I really need to start reading. Like, is it me or does it not, do y'all not like reading either? Like, I know it's so good for you, but it's just like so boring. But I need to grow up and just start reading. I have some actually really good books to read. It's just like sitting down to read them. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sit down for at least like 10 minutes or like, should I do 10 minutes or like to read 10 pages and I'll be done. I don't know, maybe I'll set a timer for 10 minutes and read because I really need to do that. So the book that I'm reading is called Live Free. It's by Devon Franklin. What's up y'all? So it's the next day. And it's literally like 9 o'clock at night and I've really been wanting to see this movie. It's called Missing. And my friend, one of my friends is gone. The other one's at work. So I'm taking my stuff to the movies. That's where I'm at now. I'm at the AMC in Trips Plaza. 
and we're about to go see this movie. This is my first time ever taking myself like to the movies by myself, so it's kind of like weird. But we're gonna get through it. Um, you want to see my fit? I just have like a hoodie on, some leggings, these little slides from Target. This is the movie y'all um, missing. Y'all, I cannot wait for John Wick 4 to come out. Oh my gosh. An exclusive benefit. If you're not an AMC Stubbs member, join today. <laughs> Don't ruin the movie. Thank you. back from the movies and the movie was amazing i really really liked it she was not playing about finding her mom that is literally exactly the way that i would be about trying to find my mom like i pray that never happens but like it was a really good movie um i got these i showed you guys in my haul the other day um this headband and the little wristbands that i got for like when i wash my face i use the um the unscented one I don't know if like I think I feel like I've tried the rose petal one, but it broke me out. I have like the most sensitive skin, y'all. Y'all don't y'all don't understand. Like I be wanting to try all the new little products and stuff that you know all the girls and YouTubers and Instagram and TikTokers be trying, but it's like, baby, do you want me to break out? Because I will break out. Like, am I the only one? I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Acne acne is universal, but it's uh, so annoying. After I wash my oh, and for facial cleanser, I just used my Cetaphil. Um, this is like one of the only cleansers that don't break me out. I've been using Cetaphil for years. Literally since like college. Yeah. I'm just taking this. Um, this is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. You guys let me know if you have any good recommendations for like acne scars that won't break me out. Like I've tried so many in the hopes of like it won't break me out. And it will really fade my scars. This was doing pretty good on my skin. I feel like I used it for the first time a couple months back and it broke me out. But I tried it again and I don't really have a reaction. I'm just really trying to get rid of these side scars on my cheeks. That's really like my main problem area is just like here. I honestly did not start breaking out down here. I feel like this is like hormonal breakouts down here. Like um, near that time of the month is when I really break out. But yeah that's that and then i use this this is by the ordinary this is the natural moisturizing factors surface hydration formula and i just use that to moisturize my face i put a lot of this on because i mean i might have put too much on today but like so i'm about to floss brush my teeth and i will see you guys in the morning But I was headed to the gym, and there's like a Target in the same plaza of the gym that I go to. So I've been seeing all over Instagram this new Tree Hut um, body scrub in the scent vanilla. Not Tahitian vanilla bean like I usually get, but like just pure vanilla. And then it came out with body wash and all these all this stuff. So like I just have to see if this Target has it. I'm sure that they probably don't, but like if they do, I'm gonna be hyped. So let's run in Target and see if they have it, and then we're gonna head to the gym. So let's go. Okay, y'all, so I just got in here, in here, and they did not have the vanilla scrub. They had it, but they were sold out. So I got this Coco Colada one again, and then I got the, the body scrub, and they also have the body wash, the Coco Colada body wash now. So I'm going to try this. I picked up these two little containers because I think it's going to be so cute in my bathroom. And then I'm going to do like an all vanilla shower routine. 
so I got this one. It smells so good. They had this vanilla one, but they, which is the body butter, but they didn't have the scrub. And I really love how this smells, so I'm gonna put this back. But okay, this is the thing that's trending right now. <laughs> but for my hair, I was I've heard a lot of good things about. I guess you pronounce it the do. I heard really good things about the mousse, and I love mousse for my hair. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. Oh, let's see if they have some more honey pot while we're here. I think they do. Yeah, they do. They're usually always sold out, so I'm gonna grab two because, girl, I'm not running out. They're pretty restocked right now, but I don't play, so. Boom. Okay, y'all, so we just made it to the gym. About to put my shoes on and then I'll show you my outfit. I got this from my mom. She bought it for me like, like three, four years ago. I'm not really sure where it's from, but it's super comfortable. It's so cute, so yeah, I put my shoes on and we're gonna head out. So we're back from the gym. We're back from Target. I had to go again because I forgot something. And then we stopped by Star um, Starbucks. Then we stopped by Sephora. So I want to do like a little mini haul. So for Sephora, I got the, everybody's raving about the Summer's Friday, um, the lip butter balm. I got it in the vanilla scent or flavor. I don't know what you call it. I guess the vanilla scent. Um, it just looks so glossy and it smells really good. I smelled it in the store. Let's put it on for you guys hold on girl it ain't trying to come out okay so this is the packaging super pretty very like neutral let's see what it's giving okay i need to have some lip balm on right now so let me wipe that off hold on so this is my lips with nothing on them so let's see what it's giving hold on i love the applicator too all right here we go I'm trying to see if it's better than the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm not gonna lie, they they smell exactly the same to me. Like they smell, this smells so good. I love vanilla, like vanilla just gonna do it every time. I like this. Very shiny, like it's given lip gloss but this is a butter bomb so the only reason that i like this a little bit better i think it is the same price as the laneige lip sleeping mask but i like the applicator with this with the lip sleeping you have to like use your finger now granted it is a sleeping mask so you're supposed to put it on when you're like you know at home after the shower before you go to bed so your hands should be clean but like if i'm out and about running around i could just pop this on if i don't have like makeup on or anything so i really like this and it smells so good and it feels really good too it's like not sticky yeah love this it's not a 10 then i picked up this um i'm gonna do this like full vanilla shower routine i'm gonna you guys will see that coming soon but i had to get like a perfume or a body spray that was vanilla scented and i was gonna get the one by seven virtues the vanilla woods but i don't know it was the i just it, i liked it a lot but i picked this instead it smells more um more, I smell more vanilla in it than anything, but I really, really like this. And then I picked up, this is by the Touchland brand, the Power Mist hand, Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. And this is in the Vanilla Blossom, obviously vanilla again, because why wouldn't I get vanilla? And I just wanted like a really cute um, 
uh, hand sanitizer to keep in my car and I want it to be vanilla so let's it ain't really giving that much vanilla but it's cute so that's that what's up you guys so it's the next it's like the next two days I think I'm about to, um, I'm at collab studios I'm about to go inside they're having like a content little day of videos got my son with me Ring, ring. <laughs> so we gotta go inside and I don't know what if I'm gonna film or anything in here, but let's go inside. Okay y'all, so they're doing truth or dare. This girl has a popsicle and she has to see how far she can go down in it. So yeah. This is my shit. She never getting this shit back ever again. Oh, you can't you can't cuss on here. Oh, you cuss? Oh, okay. But you, I can't cuss, right? Huh? Who said she lied? Who said that? Who said she? Y'all see what we're doing? She's never getting this back. Oh shit. Hey man, I know your girl did my head and shit. I, I, I think she did, man. It's your jump. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> hey, they, she told me this your jump. This my camera. She told me this her jump. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, hey, the jump on? Huh? The jump is on right now? Yeah, look. Recording, recording. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I know the fuck going on, man. Don't cuss on here. Oh, my bad. Say it again. You know what the F going on. You know what your freak going on. Are you sure about that?